Greetings, my lovely sides. I mean, welcome back to another What You Eatin'. Today, I have something large for you. King size, to be exact. And this is a king pudding. And it's a giant pudding kit from Japan. So in Japan, you can buy little individual cups of pre-made pudding, and they come in like a little set of three, and they're about the same size as the instant jello that you can find here in the US. It's much more like a flan or an egg custard. It has a little bit of a caramel topping, and you invert it out of the cup, and then you eat it that way, just like you would eat flan. So let's go in the kitchen, I'll show you how I put this together, and then we'll come back to invert it onto a place. Oh, and if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe for more making and eating. All right, let's get started. So this is what comes inside the kit. We have instructions, the pudding mixture, and some caramel. So before we start, we wanna wash out our pail. All right, to our saucepan, we're gonna add 1.9 liters of whole milk. Next, we're gonna add our pudding mixture and give that a good stir. Next, we're gonna place everything on stove top and then heat it up until it's just about steaming and all of the pudding mixture is dissolved into the milk. So turn off the heat at this point and let the mixture cool a little bit before you pour it into the bucket. How does it smell? Mmm, pretty good. And refrigerate for at least 10 hours. Okay, we are back. And this is the Giant King Pudding. So let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, look at it jiggle already. Use a butter knife and go along the edge. Make sure you stay along the side because you don't want to mar your beautiful pudding. So we're going to put our plate on. Say Hail Mary. Quickly invert it. Ooh. Did you hear that? I do believe our pudding has just released. All right, here we go. There it is. And it's amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here's the good side. And look at it jiggle. So now that we've released it out of the container, we're gonna top it with our little caramel sauce. Look at that. It's so luscious and beautiful. Whoa, there it goes. So in the time that I was taking pictures of my beautiful flan, this happened. <laughs> I think it'll still taste good, but it's not nearly as lovely as it once was. <laughs> I think this would be the perfect thing to serve at a party because no matter how much you love custard or flan, this is way too much for one person. But let's give it a taste. We'll take a bite with the syrup and give it a taste. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Wow, that syrup is really sweet and tastes like caramel. Let's try a bite with less caramel on it. Mmm. And it tastes like the custard pudding that I remember in Japan. Pretty light on the egg flavor, mostly kind of milk and sweet. The syrup is not surprisingly very sweet and tastes a lot like brown sugar. It has a little bit of a caramel flavor to it, but yeah, it's good. Really, really smooth, kind of jello-y texture. Softer than jello, but yeah, delicious. I actually ordered this online for my friends Marimo Marshmallow. I should put their information down in the description bar if you're interested in buying one for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had pudding before or if you have some great recipe for homemade flan. I would love to make it from scratch one day. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. And this is a little another umai kind of candy. It looks like it might be the corn potage.